Hello, my name is James Goldfarb from St. Francis Hospital, and this presentation will be on our recent publication in the Journal of Magnetic Resonance Imaging on water fat separation and parameter mapping in cardiac magnetic resonance images by deep learning. The main motivation behind this study was to establish the feasibility of an end-to-end -end machine learning solution for water fat separation and compare four different inputs. First single echo magnitude, then single echo complex, later multi-echo magnitude, and finally multi-echo complex. Water fat separation from these varying inputs were compared to the state-of-the-art graph cut method by evaluating the accuracy of the resulting quantitative values fat fraction, R2 star, and off resonance. We identified some limitations and provide insight into interpretability. Water fat separation is useful for myocardial tissue characterization. For example, in chronic myocardial infarction, it can identify fatty metaplasia. And in acute myocardial infarction, intramyocardial hemorrhage can be identified using R2 star maps and off-resonance maps. Convolutional neural networks, specifically the UNet architecture, is widely used for segmentation and being explored for quantitative evaluation of cardiac function. CNNs detect features or patterns in input data and combine these features for classification. It is straightforward to assume that a CNN can identify fat. But can a CNN framework provide water fat separation comparable to state-of-the-art methods? We will see that with appropriate inputs, CNNs are capable of providing excellent water fat separation. Conventional water fat separation relies on modeling of multiple echo chemical shift and fits image and signal intensities to this complex model. State-of-the-art methods utilize complex multi-echo images and not only provide water and fat images, but also R2 star and off-residence maps as a byproduct. Older methods utilize less input data. The two-point magnitude method utilizes two magnitude images, in-phase and opposed phase. But the fat fractions are limited in range to 50% fat fractions. Notice in this example, how chest wall fat is artifactually mapped to a low fat fraction. MR imaging protocol details are available in the paper. 1,200 multiple gradient echo acquisitions from healthy volunteers and subjects with ischemic cardiomyopathy were utilized in this work. 17 subjects were normal controls, 13 had acute myocardial infarctions, and 34 had chronic myocardial infarctions. The deep learning software was developed in Keras and TensorFlow utilizing a 1080 Ti GPU. Available data was split into a training set, validation set, and testing set. To provide insights into interpretability, we first trained the UNet CNN to segment fat from a single magnitude image. Then it was trained to segment fat from 12 magnitude images. A representative example of ground truth training data obtained using the graph cut method is displayed here. Fat segmentation using a single magnitude image provided good fat segmentation of large fat structures. Using 12 magnitude images, it provided improved segmentation including smaller fat structures. The dice Sorensen index improved from 0.76 using a single magnitude image to 0.9 using 12 magnitude images. Next, we trained the UNet CNN to provide water fat separation and parameter mapping from a single magnitude image. Water fat separation results from a normal control in isolation look quite promising. Compared to the graph cut method, water and fat images are comparable, though there are some differences in isolated areas. The R2 star maps, in some sense, look superior to the graph cut method, and the off resonance looks somewhat similar, though we have to look at how disease is depicted. 
subject with a chronic MI shows similar quality. In comparison to the graph cut method, water and fat separation images are comparable. They both depict fatty metaplasia. Though in the R2 star map, the fatty metaplasia is not depicted in deep learning. An example from a subject with an acute MI shows excellent water fat separation using a single magnitude image. But when we look at the R2 star map and the off resonance map, which both depict intramyocardial hemorrhage in the graph cut method, the deep learning method does not depict this pathology at all. Quantitative values of fat fraction show an excellent correlation between the deep learning method with one magnitude image and the graph cut method with 12 complex images. R2 star and off residence quantitative values showed only weak correlations. Moving on to 12 magnitude images. Again, in isolation, the deep learning results look quite promising in this normal control. Water and fat images are actually highly comparable. R2 star also now quite comparable, and that area where there were some differences in the water images and fat images is now resolved with 12 magnitude images. Looking at a chronic MI, we also see this fatty metaplasia here depicted in higher detail. R2 star is highly correlated. Now with the acute MI subject with 12 magnitude images, again, water and fat images have nice correlation. Now the R2 star map from deep learning has enough input data to depict this lesion of intramyocardial hemorrhage. But with only 12 magnitude images and not complex images, we still do not depict the off-resonance defect. Even though the off-resonance map seems to nicely depict off-resonance. Now when we compare 12 magnitude images to the graph cut method, we have excellent correlation between fat fraction and R2 star, but off resonance still is weakly correlated. Next, UNET was trained with 12 complex images to perform water fat separation. For different inputs, the Sienna was trained for 75 epochs. Mean square error effectively plateaued after 20 epochs. On the left, we have a video showing the training during the first epoch. It demonstrates that the CNN is well suited for the water fat separation problem. At the end of the first epoch, results are pretty good. Refinements and resolution are realized during subsequent training. Now we have the results from 12 complex images in this chronic MI subject. We're seeing very good correspondence between water and fat images depicting this fatty metaplasia. R2 star maps also depicting the fatty metaplasia with high correspondence. Moving on to the QMI subject. Again, excellent correspondence with a little bit higher signal to noise in the water and fat images. R2 star maps are now depicting equivalently this intramyocardial hemorrhage in the inferior wall, and also the off resonance maps from deep learning have good correspondence to the deep to the graph cut method. Comparing deep learning results with 12 complex images to the graph cut method, we now have excellent correlation with fat fraction R2 SAR and off resonance. Several pearls and pitfalls were identified in this study. Deep learning results can be comparable to state-of-the-art water fat separation methods. Deep learning methods allow flexible training not bound by a chemical shift model. All of the images presented in this paper were from bipolar gradient acquisitions, something difficult for conventional methods. 
a small increase in the SNR was realized. Computation speed is fast due to the use of a high performance GPU. Now, most importantly, a pitfall was identified. When using deep learning for water fat separation, care must be taken that appropriate data is supplied for calculation of parametric maps, since deceiving images can be produced not showing important disease.